Page five now, trouble in progressive liberal fascist left paradise in California. The state Democrat Party may have had enough of the senior senator from the Golden State. State party is not endorsing Senator Dianne Feinstein. In fact, party leadership has endorsed no one for Senate nor governor. So could this be the end to the four-term senatorial run for one of the upper chamber's most liberal, vicious, and steady attack dogs? Joining me now on the Daily Ledger, page 5 beat, radio talk show host Victoria Tapped. And, and Vicki, uh, DiFi uh, is one of, I think, many issues kind of left on the table, not resolved from the uh, Democrats in California right now. They're having some trouble, even deciding whether or not they want to keep 84-year-old Dianne Feinstein. Lots of unresolved issues at the California Democratic Convention this past weekend. And what the California Democratic Convention showed over the weekend is that it's still a party less about ideas and more about what it's against. It, it was clear from representatives Maxine Waters, Kamala Harris, to governor's candidate Gavin Newsom, and fossil fuel billionaire turned activist Tom Steyer, that it's really all about getting and impeaching Donald Trump. There were many who said, I stepped out too soon, talking about collusion talking about obstruction of justice. I called out the Kremlin Klan. I told them who Manafort was. I told them about Wilbur Ross. I told them about Papadopoulos. And I said he should be impeached. And they said, don't use that word. Don't say anything about impeachment. The Republicans will only use it against us. And they will say, you're just mad because you lost the election. Democrats, I don't care what the Republicans say. I say impeach 45. Obviously, we're people who are leading a campaign to impeach Trump. And I think in their own ways, Diane and Nancy are working really hard for democratic principles. We believe that we're telling the most important truth in the United States, that in fact getting rid of this president would relate to every single issue in the United States, but it's an unavoidable and important truth that we need to confront as a matter of principle. You think about these leaders, you know, there was no Rosa Parks if there was an Ida B. Wells. Leaders, they stepped up, stepped in, they exercised their voice. They all had one thing in common, one thing our president of the United States does not have in common. And that is, they all exercise their moral authority. So we can see that the biggest problem for the Democrats, besides Donald Trump, is that they still don't have a cohesive, substantial platform or message on which to stand. Does it really matter? I mean, we look at Gavin Newsom, you know, he's running for governor against uh, Villarosa, who used to be the mayor of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And the Senate side, you have this crazy person, De Leon, against crazy and old Dianne Feinstein. You know, you just have liberal A, B, and C just kind of replacing it. I mean, it's a modular game in California, it seems like. But in the end, right now, um, those endorsements are open, That those being for governor of California and for United States Senate. That'll show you the split in the Democratic Party between the very liberal and the far lefties that have taken over the party, not just in California, Graham, but throughout the country, really. Eric Garcetti, a couple more names. Uh, yeah. You had that guy, crazy guy, Tom, speaking of, there's so many lunatics in California, no offense, uh, <laughs> on the Democrat side, I should say. There are some normal people in California. Okay, so you have this defense. Tom Steyer we heard from, sure. who really, to me, has become the Bernie Sanders of the West Coast. Oh. I mean, that's essentially what he is. In the meantime, you have Eric Garcetti, quietly, radically destroying the city of Los Angeles, but setting the stage, a springboard to run for president of the United States. Seems pretty clear in 2020. Well, that's true. Garcetti, as well as Kamala Harris, have taken themselves across the nation, and uh, especially Garcetti just getting back from South Carolina and visiting Nevada, both early uh, states in which they could be in possibly in some sort of race campaign at some point in the primary. Uh, but I think what he's really doing is setting himself up for future years. I, I think his name, name identification is so little at this point, it's so small, that he would have to spend a lot of time 
getting, notwithstanding he's L.A. mayor, right. but just getting some some uh, name ID. Well, kind of like uh, a guy named Bill Clinton around 1991, and, and look true. what happened there. And look out, you know, what happens in California, unfortunately, spreads like the plague uh, <laughs> That's true. to the rest of the country. And I think we're going to die fi I think the Democrat Party have no qualms about throwing her under the bus if either. it advances their radical agenda. Agreed. Vicky, thanks. Coming up next.